Authorized personnel only. Your friend has to stay here. By the way, Captain, Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Sounds like he's got more work. Another day, another credit. You've got my attention, Captain. Discuss something? It must be great You've to got be something able to me? see yourself whenever you want. I bet your whole house is full of you. Your ship's cargo. What can I do for you, Captain? 
Scan complete. Go ahead and land. I need more hobbies. Writing about you, thinking about you, talking about you. That's three right there.
Need some work done? Seems like Hard to believe this place is still intact. But the military is nothing if not resilient. The best pilot in this Instead of shopping old facilities, any places abandoned in the colony war. That way... Well, yeah. Why wouldn't I be? Oh, right. You haven't seen me fly. If you had, you'd know how good I am. Damn right I am. I'd offer to let you fly along on my next mission, but, uh... Oh, man, I nearly forgot. L listen, I need a favor. I've got an application for a promotion in a Vanguard, but I haven't heard anything back. It's been a while. Their reply must have gotten lost along the way. It happens. We're really far from New Atlantis. Anyway, would you mind going there and following up for me? Just like that? Wow, that's great! I'm not gonna forget that you're doing this for me. This is just the start of my climb up the ranks. You'll see. Okay, you're gonna wanna talk to Commander Tuwala. I'm sure he's aware of me because I've sent him a few messages now. Just bring back whatever message for me so I can get out of here, okay? Really appreciate it. You kidding? It's what I was born to do. Wait, I, I mean flying is what I was born to do. This Vanguard thing? <sighs> Temporary. Only a matter of time before I get called up to the Navy. Before you know it, I'll be a captain. No, wait. Admiral, yeah! What does it matter? I'm gonna be out of here before you can blink, and this will all be behind me. That reporter didn't put you up to this, did he? I already told him it was a misunderstanding, uh, an accident. My flight record was spotless otherwise. Okay, then. It's a little surprising, isn't it? Out here on the edge of UC space, but it's just so quiet. If you're ever in New Atlantis, mind putting in a good word for me? I don't think my messages to SSNN are getting through. Why, certainly. The Settled Systems News Network is the longest-running news service in... Well, the Settled Systems. Reporters are dispatched all over, keeping an ear to the ground for some breaking news that should be known to everyone. It can, admittedly, be a bit of a pain making sure those stories reach our central office in New Atlantis. But until someone invents faster-than-light communication, it's the best we can do. Well, I certainly feel that way. The Vanguard pilots don't seem to want to associate with me. And I don't agree with Mr. Romack's views on the Colony War. So there are few options left to me. You know, I really thought volunteering for this assignment was going to be the boost to my career that I was looking for. Now I suspect even SSNN has forgotten about me. Thank you for the kind words of support, random citizen. Goodbye, then. Been up there, huh? Space? It must be cool. I never get to go to space. Looking to lodge a complaint? Then you want UC security, not the Vanguard. Oh, so you are. Sorry about that, Captain. People mistake us for peacekeepers most days. Wasn't expecting someone from the actual military. So, what can I do for you? Orlais doesn't ring a bell. Anything you can tell me about him?
Seriously? Out here? Surprised they didn't send out a general notice he's in town. Though, I guess there's less a chance he bolts if they keep it hush. But I expect we would have heard something... Wait... The Warlock! There's been rumor of a ship out there for years now. Doesn't respond to hails, never docks. More than a few amateur investigators have tried to find it. And at least two never came back. Ethereus debris fields are plenty dangerous if you're not used to flying in them. But if you're suggesting it might not have been the fields that got them, well, I can give you the coordinates of the Warlock's last sighting. Can't think of a better spot your Orlais might be hiding. I mean, I honestly thought it was just a story board haulers told to amuse each other. But if the pilot of the Warlock really has been dusting our people, well, hopefully you're about to make our skies a whole lot safer. Things you should know? The Den's not really that kind of place. This is a quiet assignment. Keep an eye out for pirates, make sure smuggling's kept to a minimum, Occasional rescue job out in the debris fields. Otherwise, it's mostly long haulers and staying ready for the day the Collective wants another round. Or House Varun comes back in force. Well, the original Den Star Station was destroyed decades ago during the Serpent's Crusade by marauding House Varun zealots. A big part of the remains from those battles ended up gathering around Etheria, forming a nasty debris field. Every now and then, some headstrong scrapper comes limping back because they hit an 80-year-old mine. Or sometimes they don't come back at all. Though, maybe it's not just the field that's been picking them off. Sure thing. Here, this should get you pointed in the right direction. Go get your man. looks exactly as we left it, right? Right. I'm listening.
trap for the field. Savor your last moments, moat. All systems. Shoot them down. Hard to underscore the impressive architecture of New Atlantis, right? I've been here hundreds of times, and it never ceases to amaze me. some new 
news for me regarding Dr. Olay's. Hmm. So he didn't come quietly then, as I suspected. I presume you have evidence of this. sure the remaining team members find their way to the Red Devil's headquarters. Except for one. That one you'll need to collect yourself. His name is Kaiser. You can find him on the Freestar world of Nera, wandering the battlefield there. The area was ground zero for Xeno weapon deployments during the war, so I would arm yourself appropriately. And I think you'll want to check in with Hadrian and Dr. Walker before paying it a visit. Kaiser will likely have security protocols you'll need their help to overcome. A military Model A. Yes. Specifically customized for the needs of the Xeno Warfare team during the Colony War. A powerful resource. If you can recover him. I dedicated my life to the United Colonies. Every effort of my being to their protection. I even gave them my heirs. Even if my circumstances have changed, my purpose is not. Of course. We're protecting the galaxy, Captain. We'll need every tool at our disposal. <laughs> By the way, Captain, Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Sounds like he's got more work. Feeling today's going to be a great day. Three. Sure, I've got a minute.
Ever wonder how the crimson fleet seems to be everywhere? stuff fast and get out of here. I'm anxious to see the stars again. I am in the mood for a mocha macchiato. How about you? There you are. You all done with whatever it was the UC had you on? We're still just scrambling to reopen this place for business. Adrian and I are still pouring through the Terramorph data. Don't think I realized you so much.
That didn't take long at all. I was afraid you might have gotten reassigned. You've been gone so long. So how's it feel to be a citizen? <laughs> to each their own. Still remember my ceremony. Nineteen years old. Standing on the front deck of Mast, looking over the city. One of the proudest days of my life. But it is real good to have you here again. We've been going through the Terramorph data, and, well, we're gonna need all the help we can get. These logs, they're even more thorough than I remembered. Genetic workups, population statistics, hell, even their food chain. I'd completely forgotten, for example, that there was a creature that actually ate Terramorphs. <laughs> At this point, the data's given us more options to explore than we have people to work on them. <laughs> That'd be something, wouldn't... I'm sorry, are you? You're serious. You found... our research team? That's... incredible. That accelerates... everything. With them back, it'll let us... Wait. Kaiser. Did you find Kaiser? That... That's right. You would need that. Whoever gave you these leads sure knew their stuff. Well, how? How exactly did you manage to find them? <laughs> you can't be... Oh. You are serious. Okay. No more questions. Yeah, but still, getting Kaiser back, that gives us more than a few new paths forward on dealing with the Terramorphs. But if he's been out there on his own all this time, you're gonna need something. Come on. We've already made a lot of progress getting this place back online. Some of the containment chambers were a bit on the... unpleasant side, but the facility staff made short work of that.
I know it's here somewhere. Ah. Here, Kaiser schematics. Actuators, weapons, batteries. That old robot's been MIA for a while, so chances are he's gonna need some repairs. He's also got a lock on his voice controls. You can give yourself authorization with the phrase, Nos belli machinis. Now, where exactly is the old machine? Oh my god, are you talking about Nero? No wonder no one's found him. Xeno weapons are just the tip of the iceberg in that place. The environment's devastated. There's little, if any, real law. Nero's got more than enough ways to make any visit your last. But I think there's a place where you can start your search. Hmm. Yep. One of a kind salvage. Licensed to an Angelo Alonso. Goes by Gel. As good a place to start as any. Kaiser lets us do field work with a level of precision that there's really no other way to accomplish. More than a few of the options we're looking into. Detectors to uncover the Terramorph transmission method, or crafting a targeted biological agent. They require highly specific materials to test against. And asking a group of Marines to accompany us for that kind of work, well, it usually ended up with ruined samples and wounded teammates. The colony war saw a lot of hard fighting, but Nera got it the worst. Everything the Freestar Collective and UC could muster, ground troops, Xena weapons, mechs, was hurled into the fray. Both sides hoped something would decisively turn the tide, but it never did. When the war finally ended, swaths of that world were so devastated they were effectively abandoned. So what Kaiser's doing there of all places, I can only guess at. And I'll make sure we're ready to put them to use as soon as you've got them. I am your sidekick, your shadow, your tail.
orbital insertion completed. Customer, supplier, merc, regardless, you won't jail. couldn't have safer mix. The technology could have been... Hey! New model on it the floor. It was horrific. Welcome to the one of a kind. Refuge and rest home for the hardest scrappers anywhere. Name's Jill. Proprietor. So formal. The pleasure's all mine, my good man. Angelo Alonzo. At your service. You can call me Jill. Can I get you started on a tab, then? Or are you here to try and make your fortune in the fields? I'm happy to take your credits however you want to hike them over. Kaiser? Uh, no bot around here with that tag. Oh, unless you mean Captain Ahab? At least that's what we've all been calling him. No clue what his actual designation is, since he's got some sort of security protocol that prevents inquiries and general chit-chat. But he's a combat bot, right? Yeah, that machine's been out there a while now, hunting this one siren, his white whale. But it's been a while since anyone's laid eyes on Captain Ahab, though. Maybe he finally got the thing. Or it got him. Well, all right. So, sounds like you've got two options. You can wander around out there, hunting your bot, little old white whale of your very own, 
Maybe you find them. Maybe you get yourself killed. But knowing this rock is part of what we do here, so if you want to find him a whole lot faster, I'll sell you what I know about this. Kaiser's location. Going rate's a little steep, but I'm willing to negotiate. Pleasure doing business with you. So, last anyone heard of him, he was out near the Syracuse, shipwreck about a quarter click down the main strip. One of my roughnecks said he heard some kind of beacon. Just keep your ears open. You should find your machine. Eyes open, too. Siren's an ecliptic out there, and neither takes prisoners. Oh, and corpse retrieval is not included in this transaction, so now you know. Give Ahab a Kaiser our best. I'm sad to see machines of violence get deconstructed into nothingness.
little while that now, after all these years, this uncrewed, nearly destroyed ship is still dangerous. Get you something? 
Ah, so that's where your machine's been. Ran out of juice. Heat leeches, wasn't it? Those little stowaways are everywhere on this rock. Suck the power out of a pen light if you let them. But a microcell. That's military grade tech. I think we might have one, but I can promise you it's not going to be cheap. You could probably Frankenstein one together using our fabrication system here, but only if you had some quality schematics. So, I just brace for a little sticker shock. Ecliptic are the meanest damn soldiers of fortune in the galaxy. Make the Crimson Fleet seem polite by comparison. You stumble across any out there, you back away slowly. We'll get ready to kill every last one of them. Nasty kind of alien left behind after the colony war. Pretty much blind. Original ones brought to Nera were all Xeno weapons, but those critters have long since passed. But they left behind more than enough untrained babies to keep the fields plenty interesting. No better selection on the planet. <laughs> Wouldn't have lasted real long here, doing what we do without a top-notch fabrication system. So long as you've got the specs, it should be able to handle making you a microcell. But finding materials up to the task, you're likely going to be sifting through quite a few mech hulks out there to find what you need. Though, if you think you can actually manage something like that, I'm willing to make you a deal. I'll point you towards the juiciest harvest sites. Spots where you should be able to find quality parts. But in return, any excess materials you collect, you sell to me, all right? Save us from risking our necks on another run out there. What do you say? Then let me just mark those collection points. Watch yourself out there.
need it now.
Don't forget, whatever else you find in those spots, you sell to me, all right? That barely took any time to make it all. Wild. seriously suggesting we fight an actual Xeno weapon. I am suggesting precisely that. I have thus far been... Hmm, incapable of disarming Unit 99 myself. Support, however, may allow success. Correct. Unit 99 is a siren. A deadly biological specimen deployed to Nera during the colony war. Engineered for combat efficiency, execution of said specimens is the standard method of Xeno weapon disarmament. Technically, yes. All Xeno weapons have a control interface which allows them to be given orders if Unit 99 were to be subdued. I could wipe its interface. This would prevent Unit 99 from ever being used as a weapon again. That would be technically sufficient for the parameters of my mission. However, it is my personal assessment that Nero would be better off with Unit 99 terminated. 
species designation. Secus Atlantanus. Top speed. 78 kilometers per hour. Confirmed kills. 107. Scrounging from mech parts in this heat is not what I wanted to see today. Access Unit 99's control interface it would allow them to deploy the weapon. This must be prevented at all costs. Ecliptic isn't going to back down, but neither are we. Moving out.
time I jumped off the cliffs of a planet with almost no gravity. Fun at first, but took forever to get down. Oh, bad choice! Service is now complete. Mine, however, continues. Our work here is finished. Now, what is this mission you spoke of? Major Sanon is involved. A plague of Terrahorf attacks. That is disconcerting. You are docked at one of a kind. I will meet you there.
I can't believe it. Major Sanon, Dr. Walker. You're in better shape than I expected, Kaiser. Shouldn't take as long to get you back up to full fighting capacity. This is good to hear. I was told there was a new threat on the horizon. I wish to learn more. Percival will give you the full story. Plus, get you dressed for the occasion. Occasion? Where are we going? Londinium. Hmm. Londinium, Doctor. I will require additional armaments. That's the plan. Come on. Captain, you're with me. Time to walk you through what we came up with. So the problem we're up against is vast. Terramorphs, they can be anywhere. Meaning us finding and disposing of them ourselves isn't an option. Excuse me. But what if we could let something else do the work for us? Come on. I'll walk you through what we're thinking. You remember that creature we talked about before you went to Nera? The thing that eats Terramorphs, the Asilis? Apparently, they were bloodhounds for Terramorphs. But when the UC ran low on synthetic foods during the Colony War, the Asilis were chosen to fill in the gaps. We thought they were harvested to extinction. But in the data, the research team found the location of a few remaining specimens. As you can see, what we're proposing is bringing them back. We'd breed populations of them, distribute them to human worlds, and then let nature take its course, using a method that thousands of years of adaptation have already perfected. We could speed up their breeding process using, well, using some of the same technologies that were used to create me. We even think that, with some time and investigation, we could use the Asili's hunting skills to track down the Terramorph transmission method at long last. Find out how humanity spread them and put an end to the Terramorph problem definitively. I really think it could. Now, there is another option for removing the Terramorphs from our worlds. It's faster, maybe even more efficient, but riskier. A microbe. Something we could aerosolize, let spread, and have it clean up anything with Terramorph DNA for us, which would include morphs, and we expect, their transmission method. It'd still take time to build, test and distribute, but no other method could hold a candle to it when it comes to sheer efficiency. Not even the Asilis. Percival assures me that they're minimal. He'll be able to encode safeguards against mutation in the agent's genetics, so that they stick to the task of cleaning up Terramorphs. But the microscopic world has a tendency to behave in ways you can't always predict. So to say there's zero risk would be a lie. Well, so that's tricky. Both plans are going to take major investments in time and resources. We're talking years of work, and not to mention some highly specialized materials. Terramorph cell lines we can breed quickly and consistently to test on. Asili's gene samples we can use to rebuild their bloodlines. Or sharpen our microbes' tracking skills. Not the sort of things any labs just got lying around. But we think we found a lead. One place in the known galaxy where we know we should be able to find all the materials we need. All paths lead to Londinian. It's certainly not encouraged, 
But the UC's given their sign-off for this excursion. This trip is all above board. It was the central hub for Asili's processing during the Colony War. But, and this part's exciting, the Terramorph data suggests Asili's were first found there. The planet it's on, Tolemon II, was their homeworld. Meaning, there's a very good chance their prey, the Terramorphs, came from that same world. Which would also explain why no one ever suspected that planet as the Terramorph source world. The Asili's were too damn effective at cleaning them up. Additionally, it explains why once the Asili's were gone, the outbreak there was so catastrophic. Londinian could very well be where the Terramorph saga began. And the key to its end. Exactly what I was hoping to hear. Now, the UC has a small operating base on Londinian's outskirts. We're cleared for access, but we'll need to check in with the base commander, Sarah Hatoum, when we touch down. I'm gonna help Percival and Kaiser prep, but once that's done, we'll rendezvous with you there. But you need to know, Londinian? It belongs to the Terramorphs. They'll have anti-Xeno gear for us at the base, but I'd make sure you've got your favorite arms on hand. <laughs> 